Uh, good morning. My name is Mary Jane Burke, the Marin County Superintendent of Schools. Um, and I'm not here to talk about the hackathon that you're sponsoring, which is going to be great, or Farm Day that just happened that was absolutely amazing, or the Sheriff's Academy <laughs> that is supporting about 50 kids this year, or the trauma uh, training that your Health and Human Services did um, just last week, or the work we're doing around Smart Train with Angela and the team to try to get the best possible rates, or the fact that Jose Varela was just um, at our community school helping kids see the way to, to their future. So I'm not talking about that. I'm here to talk about a different part of your organization. My point, though, of course, is that we are so interconnected when it comes to the good work of a community on behalf of the youth. Um, and I wanted to particularly call out the work of your elections department. And so I think you're aware one of the um, um, uh, issues that you dealt with on your consent agenda was the fact that the school districts of Marin County were able to move their elections from their even years to their odd years. And I know you have the background on that. But I want you to know, um, except for Lincoln, by the way, which hasn't had an election since 1969, so they didn't need to make the move. But hold this thought that what happened um, is I was caught sort of off guard um, in that one of our districts jumped ahead, the Tamil Pius district, and the resolution moved forward um, at the end of December, right before the winter recess. And imagine, I'm thinking, whoa, I better go to school. What's going on? What are the rules? And I was able to immediately call Linda Roberts um, and her team, Dan and Mel, and they were available in the most unprecedented ways. There's a winter recess there by January 11th. They were at a training uh, with all of our superintendents, trustees that could make it to learn about the information and then proceeded over the next couple of months to be responsive, caring, provide good data so our school districts could make a determination. And I think often um, we don't press the pause button to say, hey, we noticed that uh, what happened was truly unprecedented and it made a huge difference for our schools and our community. So my thanks to the Elections Department and Linda in particular. Oh, yeah, thank you. I'll stop. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.